Hi everyone, welcome to Boss Content. My name's Henry, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a commercial like this from home. For those of you new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. So over here in England, we've been put in another lockdown and considering I can't go out to shoot, I thought that I would make some videos from home. Recently, I've been inspired by the likes of Daniel Schiffer and Austin Paul, so I've linked their channels down below in the description. Check out their stuff, it is so good. Also, these kinds of talking to camera slash tutorial videos are new for me, so if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, then like the video, leave a comment below, let me know your thoughts. So, Serge Nimes are a London-based jewellery brand. I've linked their website in the description below. I worked with them on a project last year, for a video and considering I wanted to make like a 30 second social media ad I thought that their products would be good to use. Also with rings and necklaces I feel like there's a lot of potential so shooting them can get quite creative. So for the idea of the shoot I've been watching quite a lot of nature documentaries and planet earth recently so I thought having some sort of combination of nature mixed with human interaction and the colours on the necklace are sort of blue and gold and quite exotic so I thought it could work really well. So the first thing I did was create a storyboard. Now I'm honestly awful at drawing, like <laughs> really bad, so it doesn't matter how good you are as long as you get the ideas down. I had to keep in mind though that I'd be using a macro lens to get close up to the jewellery. The blue moon necklace was by far my favourite, it's this gold necklace with a blue pendant in the middle and I thought by starting this off on a leaf, maybe in like the jungle or rainforest during a storm, it would be really engaging for the viewer. So this is the setup we've got uh, at the moment. We've got the Lauer 24mm probe lens at f14, which is the widest uh, that this lens opens up to. We need as much light in as possible. It's on a 1DX Mark II, Canon 1DX Mark II, which is sitting on an Edelkrone slider, which uh, is motorized. And the reason we can't use handheld or just a manual slider for this is because when you're using macro lenses, you're so close up to the subject that any slight jitter or shake that your hands would make that rhymes. It would just be, it would be too much. We've got the Aperture 120D Mark II up here with this light dome, uh, which diffuses the light so the shadows aren't particularly harsh. We can set it to lightning mode, which basically gives it like a thunderstorm effect. And I'm gonna be doing the most high-tech part of everything, which is squirting it with water. Luckily, the front of this lens is waterproof, so that's not a problem. I'm gonna start this shot so the camera's far in and then it's gonna pull out and it's gonna reveal the, the leaf, the surrounding, and then the little pendant at the end of the necklace. Press record. I'm gonna put this on lightning mode. So it's day two of the shoot and uh, yesterday we got the shot of the necklace on the leaf. Today we're going to be shooting the necklace falling through the air. So I'm going to have to change everything around um, and get that set up. So what we've got set up here is the second shot with the help of my dad. The necklace here on the leaf is going to be pushed off by me, drops off the leaf whilst my dad is spraying it with water. Okay, so that's spraying. <laughs> Taking down and setting equipment back up again can take a long time, but the reason I'm moving everything onto a table as opposed to keeping it on the floor is because I'll be shooting very low to the base of the set, and so having the subject high up on a table gives me leverage to adjust the height and distance of my camera away from the subject easily. At the moment I'm just setting up the fish tank because the next shot is going to be the necklace falling into the water from the leaf. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the 70-200 telephoto lens on, uh, so I can zoom in to the fish tank, but without getting the reflection back in the camera. Three, two, one. It's so quick. It falls down so quickly that even in slow motion, oh, that is good though. I think that might be it. Let me put it on the computer so it looks like. 
So I think this shot turned out pretty well. Um, I have an idea which I kind of got from Austin Paul. He was making a whiskey commercial, I think, and sort of had a kraken or a big squid come in front of the lens. So I thought that'd be quite a cool effect to have. So I've got some a pillowcase here, which I'm gonna rip up. Because we've got a, a black backdrop, I'm going to use this as the monster. Then I'm going to sort of invert the colors so then this becomes black and the background's white so then I can key it out and put it in. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Also, I don't know if this is waterproof or not. I don't think it is, but it's probably only gonna need a few seconds under the water, so. All right, well, it's worth a shot, isn't it, really? Okay, so today is day three of the shoot and we're gonna get the fourth shot. Now, at the moment, I've got this tray filled up with water with some pebbles in it, and I found this log outside with some moss on it, which looks really cool. So the last shot, the necklace was falling into the water. This shot, the necklace is gonna be coming out of the water. I'm going to make it look like it sort of have, has a mind of its own, and then we're gonna transition from following the gold necklace with the blue pendant to this silver necklace with the Medusa head on the front. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Sick, that was it. So it's about 6.30 in the morning and this is the last shot we're gonna do with Toby, our model. And um, it's basically gonna be Toby under this light here, uh, which is shining directly down on him. And he's gonna have the necklace on. I'm gonna do a couple of pan out shots with the Ronin and some close ups on the actual pendant itself. So let's we'll see how that goes. Okay, okay. Spray the necklace rather than your body. Yeah, that's fine man. Yeah, okay, put yourself, okay, put yourself back. <laughs> Sweet, so that wraps up all of the shooting. Um, now we've just got to go back and look at the edits and see what we can do. That makes sense? Just well. There you go. Nice. So now that we've got everything shot, I just need to add in the sound effects, soundtrack, and color grade. So that's it, that's how I shot this commercial from home. A big thank you to Serge and Neems and you guys for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification icon. And um, I'll see you in the next one.